Naturally, ask anybody who know me. What you in for? The fuck are you talking about? Why are you detaining me? Tight, 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 tight. You about to lose your job. You, 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 you about to lose your job. Get this thing. You about to lose your job. Cause you are detaining me for nothing. And you're detaining me for nothing. And you about to lose your, your, your job. You ain't even got no job. Cause you try. So I made my daily update and then with that I am gonna add some videos I've recorded screen recorded off of Twitter that I think should be along with my daily update about George Floyd I think these other videos should be added to it too Please like, subscribe, and share. Please. and a lot of pepper spray. It's burning real fucking bad. Fuck what they telling you. 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 
telling you. Fuck what they telling you. Bro, don't talk, nigga. Bro. How you doing? Um, Mikey from the Give It To Mikey Show. And it's my daily update. So, I figured I should make a video about what I think about what's going on in the country right now. And I just gotta say I'm, I'm proud of the, the Americans out there saying, we're mad as hell and we're not gonna take it no more. I am proud of Everyone out there doing that. I I am so sorry to the Floyd family and his friends and his daughter. She said the most awesome thing and it's true. She said my daddy changed the world. <laughs> and he is. He's changing the world. I'm sorry, it's a terrible way for him to have to do it, but what are you gonna do about that? I know those cops need to pay. And I know all the cops out there who are showing us their true colors need to be fired and pay for what they're doing. Come on now, that 75 year old man didn't need to be pushed at all. And that you pushed him like he was like a young kid, a teenager or something. Fucking smacked his head off the ground and bled everywhere. Or that little African American girl who these guys held down and beat up, or the news reporters who should no problem be out there recording what's going on, getting shot in their eye with rubber bullets, or the homeless man in the wheelchair who got shot in the face with a rubber bullet. He wasn't even protesting. He was a homeless elderly man in a wheelchair. What if that was your grandfather, or your uncle, or your father? Do you even think these, every one of us, black, white, green, orange, purple, gay, straight, whatever, have family, someone who cares about them. And no matter who they are, their life matters. Especially black people, life matter. And that needs to be addressed. It needs to be addressed from the highest levels of our country in, in law. It needs to be taken care of. And that one guy holding it up, or uh, Paul Rand, or Rand Paul, whatever the hell his name is. Get over your racistness and let those laws, the anti-lynching laws pass. What's wrong with you? 
nobody deserves to be treated the way these guys, the, not these guys, the cops are treating people. Um, I think that cop that stood on George Floyd's neck should get first degree murder, but I know you can only charge him with what you think you can prove and get a conviction for, and I understand that. I know something needs to be done about the rest of the country and the bad apples. And even the good apples, you guys cannot let the bad apples get away with what they can't get away with. And I know these guys have a code to look out for each other, but some things you just can't look out for. They shouldn't be able to kill or hurt innocent people. People out there peacefully protesting should not be hurt or bothered. Um, there's nothing else I can say about that. It's just how it is. It, it's a First Amendment. Freedom of speech. They're not hurting nobody. And if you don't like what they're saying, that's too bad. You didn't care when the Proud Boys are out there protesting with their fucking rifles and everything. Nobody in these protests are out there with all kinds of guns like they were. And there's a video of these guys warning them to hide because you were going to kick in the curfew. That's messed up. You were playing favoritism. And I'm glad somebody recorded it and posted it. And I think it's messed up that the only people that are getting in trouble out of the cops are the ones that are getting recorded and getting in trouble for it. What about the ones that ain't getting recorded? Something needs to be done about this. It's serious. It's crazy. And I'm very upset. The country is pissed. And it should be. I'm just, I am surprised this hasn't happened soon enough. I am so proud of my American brothers and sisters who are out there protesting, doing what they gotta do, getting shit taken care of. I plan to be out there myself. I don't have my own car to get that far away right now, Boston problem. But sadly, I will be out there protesting because I do have a ride that day. And I will have a car in the next month or two. Things are going kind of slow because of coronavirus. Please, everybody out there protest. Still wear your masks. I don't want you to die doing the right thing. But keep protesting. Let them know you're fucking fed up. I'm so glad you are. And the other day, it was amazing to hear a real leader speak. Thank you, President Obama. You, you are an inspiration of so many people, black and white. And it must have burnt Trump's ass that he got to see a real president lead the country who should be retired and enjoy life, but he can't because the person that took office after him is a mess who has no clue what he's doing. He's totally immature. Who, if anybody says anything wrong about them, it's fake news. He's lying, uh, whatever. And the Republic, the God who's not stepping in and holding Trump accountable, you're just as bad as them. And you will be voted out, each and every one of you. You should be stepping up and speaking out, protecting your American citizens. Instead, you haven't said nothing, even when he's turned the American military on its own citizens. What the fuck is that? For real. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Don't you have kids? Family members? You think you guys? You're definitely not Native Americans. So you came here as an immigrant too, just to let you know. These guys all make me sick. But it's okay, because good will turn out better than bad. Light is better than darkness, it always has been, and always will be. I'm so proud to be alive right now when this is happening. I want to say thank you to every one of you out there protesting, showing the, the country, the world, you're mad as hell. And to the rest of the world, I'm proud of you too. You're all doing the same thing because you're all mad as hell. The world is mad. It, we shouldn't be in this spot in 2020. Oh my god. When I was in school and 
the 90s. I, I didn't even realize racism was a thing until I got out of school and started going to other states and stuff. I'm from Massachusetts and there's racism there, but I didn't know it. You know what? I, I'm not a black person, so maybe I just didn't realize it. But I'm sorry to everyone who's still ever had to go anything in your life that was bad and people being shitty to you just because of the color of your skin. That's crazy. We are all the same. We all bleed. We all have nightmares. We all hurt. We all have feelings. We have mothers, brothers, sisters, aunts and uncles and dreams. And I hope you do, all of you get to follow yours. And to Mr. George, George Floyd's family, my deepest condolences to you. From me and my boyfriend, we both feel so bad for everything you're going through. So at the same time, I hope you guys are proud, not because he died, obviously, but because the world is changing because of him. Remember that, I totally believe he'll be in history books because of this. And I, I, I am truly disgusted by that anybody even has to deal with this in 2020. Racism should have been gone hundreds of years ago. Um, that's really all I gotta say right now. But I felt I had to say something. And I liked what Megan Marco said the other day. Um, the worst thing you can say is nothing. So I had to say something. Please like, subscribe, and share. And as Alan says, be kind to one another. And Trump, resign now and go fuck yourself, you and your whole family. Thanks, thanks for watching.